ICE Standing Inner Shoulder Series. For ICE Foundations for the Upper Body, we're going to begin with some scapular depressors. Ah, what does that mean? Basically what happens is a lot of times our shoulders can get up like this and our necks can get tight. You know, we go to work and look like this all the time. So what we're going to do is strengthen the opposite of that uh, so that we can keep our shoulders down throughout the day, okay? Um, we're also going to be working a little bit in the back of the shoulder and be working inside the shoulder. So the first thing that I want to talk about always, always is um, the spine. We want to be in a correct spinal posture. So you can do these uh, seated in a chair if you want. We're going to go ahead and show them in standing. So even though we've taken Marcus into the standing position, he is going to go ahead and line up in a correct spine, okay? He's got one foot in front of the other, and what you'll notice is as the video goes on, he's just going to alternate which foot is in front, okay? But the stability is coming from the core. If you would go ahead and do a low V pull for me, Marcus, and just hold it. Now, when you do this move, go ahead and keep your wrist straight and pull back. Excellent. Most people, what they want to do, Marcus, do a back arch. Yeah. Did you see what happened? Marcus's ribs flared up. That's the tendency with this, but you don't want to do that. You want to keep your ribs pulled in. You want to keep your transverse abs tight. It's almost a little internal connection there. Um, and make sure that your arms are not affecting what your core is doing. And that is the first exercise. You are going to pull the shoulders down, engaging under here, and then you're going to pull your arms into a low V. Good, go ahead and continue. And we're going to do these slow and fast. Great. The hard part is to not pull with this meat right here. It's called the upper traps. You've got to send that energy down. So it's a breath in, send it to the abs, and then send it to the scapular depressors. I actually want you to learn that term. Very important. Go ahead and do a few fast force, Marcus, and just pump it, pull. Also, too, make sure you don't let your head go forward, okay? We don't want to have chicken neck on this one. Good, stop for me. Now, I want you to reach forward, and then as you pull, you're going to externally rotate. And the same effect that we've had in the legs and the hip socket, we're going to be doing that same thing for the shoulder. So deep breath in, exhale, solidify the correct spine, and then externally rotate as you go. Where are you feeling that, Marcus? In my scapular depressors and inside my shoulder. Scapular depressors and inside of the shoulder. So if you're feeling your neck or you're feeling your back, I want you to go back here and hold it and make sure that you force the correct thing to fire. Go ahead and do a few of those fast twitch. External, 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 external. Should be loosening up the joint. Very good and rest. Now, you're gonna start in external rotation, so that's like a double thumbs out, and then as you pull, you're going to internally rotate the shoulder. And you're still pulling into the low V. Go ahead, internally rotate, and then externally rotate. This one you should feel a little bit deeper, Marcus. Is that what you feel going internal? Yeah, I feel a little more deeper in the shoulder and the scapula depressors. Awesome. Very important to make sure you keep this down. Marcus is making this look easy, but the tendency is to grab the loops and to raise up in the shoulders. That's just not cute. We just want to keep it right down here and teach all of this stuff to work as a unit. Go ahead and do some fast twitch for me. Every time with a breath, blow abs go, blow abs go, blow abs go. You should really be firing up. Keep that head nice and still. Use the transverse abs to stabilize. Good, and rest. All right, and we're gonna take just a little step back and we're gonna change feet and we're gonna go right into a row, okay? You should have the tension about chest height. We're gonna reach out forward and pull into a high row, okay? This one, I don't want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together. I actually want you to keep them out nice and wide and then we're gonna pull back. And if you do this correctly, you should feel it kind of in the back of the shoulder right here. And then you're going to feel your core keeping you from opening up and going over backwards, okay? So he's pulling down here 
and back here. Do you feel both of those things happening? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and crank them out, Marcus, until you feel it and get a nice little burn. Everybody keep your chin up, keep your scapular depressors engaged, and work the back of that shoulder. Very good. Slow it down, and we're going to go into a low row, and you're going to reach forward and then just pull everything down. Good. Leave the head up. We're not actually doing any spine yet. That's the next level. And pull. Very good. Now his scapula is staying still. The scapula is the shoulder blades back here. And the way he keeps those still is before he even moves, he tightens his abs, pulls his shoulder down and engages them, and then pulls back with those arms. You should even feel it kind of traveling down right here into the lats. Feel that? And then we're gonna go ahead and fast twitch and just pull it. Keep breathing, keep going. Again, we never speed up until you feel like you really have a good handle on that mechanic. This is just to get the fast twitch fibers going. Very good, and everybody rest.